Hello everyone, welcome to iHoning.io, a crypto news website. Today, in this tutorial, we will talk about Bitfinex, how to create an account, and how to make transaction on Bitfinex. Firstly, access Bitfinex.com. To create an account, you click on open account button in the center of the screen. You read, understand, and acknowledge the important notices and tick I understand. Then click proceed. As you can read from the notices, the minimum account equity is $10,000. If you are new to crypto market, and do not intend to invest such that much in cryptocurrency then choose other exchange for alternative and then fill out all information and click open account try to create a strong password including capital letters numbers symbols there will be a verification mail sent to you check your email and click on it after that you will be taken to Bitfinex page to login. Let's go to set some security features. There is a note is that after achieving this minimum equity, in this case is $10,000, all platform features will become available and you will not be required to maintain this level of equity to continue. You will be able to continue using Bitfinex while reducing your equity if you desire. Now, let's go to enable two-factor authentication. You move your computer mouse to the account icon and choose security. Scroll down and choose two-factor authentication. There are choices for you to choose from. In this case, I have chooses Google Authenticator. Click Set Up. Then you need to download the app Google Authenticator from App Store or Google Play and use it to scan QR code to get six digit code. And then enter the code into the box and click Enable. Now, check your email to finish enabling to FA process. Click on the link given by Bitfinex to active 2FA token. You have finished the process. Let's verify the account. Click on button verification. In next page, click on beginning verification and start the procedure. You have to fill out simple information regarding the reasons on why you wish to undergo identity check. This is to sort out required steps for you to complete depending on your needs. Once you are done with the preliminary questions, you will be directed towards the next stage, where you need to choose whether you are an individual or organization. Start verification. You need to provide your personal details, upload document, and fill out bank statement details. You, you should also download the sign and sign KYC or AML regulation agreement. You can take a look at the identity part of verification. You need to scan documents and personal information to upload. You need to complete all those steps before someone from customer support will take a look at your application and approve it. The verification process can take up to 6 to 8 weeks. To make transaction on Bitfinex or on any other exchanges, you need to deposit. To deposit, you click deposit located at the top right corner of the dashboard page here. You will be directed to the transfer page where you can choose available Tether, Bank, Wire, or cryptocurrencies that you can deposit to the account. And you know, only verified account can request Wire and Tether deposit. Let's make an example with Ethereum deposit. Choose Ethereum, select the wallet that you want to deposit to. There are three wallets, Exchange Wallet, Margin Wallet, and Funding Wallet, and click to Generate Address. Once your account 
is topped up, you could make transaction on Bitfinex. To make transaction on Bitfinex, click on trading. Let's take a look at the trading interface structure. This is where you can choose the pairs that you want to trade with. This area shows you the coin's price overview. And this is where you can place an order. To enter price, click on a price on the order book. Then it will appear in the price input box on operation panel. And this part is the price chart of the pair that you choose. And this is the transaction history. You can also see the order book. This shows information of orders sorting price from highest. On the page, red represents sell and green represents buy. Take a look at the high position here. And this is a location of people who are selling points. And this is the order list. This shows your orders in processing. If you want to cancel any orders, you could choose this part and cancel. Moreover, Bitfinex also supports funding trade, meaning that you can borrow Bitcoin from someone that wants to lend. Of course, you have to pay the interest rate for the lender. Now, let's make an exchange transaction. Take a look at some choices here. With OCO, it allows you to place a pair of orders, stimulating that if one order is executed fully or partially then the other order is automatically cancelled. This option allows you to place both take profit and stop loss targets for your position, but it is only for limit orders. Hidden order allows you to place an order into the book, but not have it displayed to other traders. Most only limit orders are orders that allow you to be sure to always pay the market fee. This is only for limit order as well. I'm gonna make a limit order and trade Ethereum with Bitcoin. You can enter a price by yourself or as I said, you can click on a price on the order book and the price will appear in the box and you enter your desired amount of Ethereum and click exchange buy. Your order can be immediately filled or moves to opening orders area. If you want to cancel your order, then click the button here. Sell process is being done exactly the same as buy. This is a tutorial about Bitfinex. Hopefully you find it useful. If you have any question, please comment below the video. And if you want to get more excellent videos about crypto market, please like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.